is a part of my mind. Because they are my people. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when you have a problem, don't take it to the people. Take it to the Lord in prayer. So I challenge you today. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed by what you see. The very same God that told Jeremiah to go is the one that sustained him in the midst of him. Divisive conspiracy. Yeah. He met him in the midst of it all. God called us to Avondale. And Avondale is where we are. Amen. God called you to your family. And your family is where you are. If they don't invite you to the meeting, show up. If they don't invite you to dinner, you go by and get something to eat and bring it over and want to share it. Call a peace offering. Amen. So when you walk in with your peace offering, Jesus said to his disciples, you bring your peace in and you leave it. If they don't receive it, watch this. Take your peace with you. Yeah. Don't let them eat your chicken before they make peace now. <laughs> but I need you to understand there is no excuse. God is not moved by the challenges that you face in life. He's not moved by your discouragement or your despair. Because he's God. Amen. He is Jehovah Jireh. Yes. He's Jehovah Jireh. Amen. He's our provider. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's Jehovah Shalom. Amen. He he's our peace. Yes, he he's Jehovah. Yes. Our healer. Yes. Jehovah Nisi is our man. And so we cannot allow ourselves to become discouraged in this day and time. Because the forces of evil are working so desperately to destroy as many people as they can. And we can't afford to stand by and watch it happen. Open your mouth and speak truth. Let people know that Jesus saves. Don't judge them, don't condemn them. Just speak truth. Jesus saves. Come on, let's just practice. Say it with me. Jesus saves. When somebody says, how do you know? Say, I tried it and I know. Amen. That's all you're going to say. I tried it and I know. He keeps on. Thank you. If there's any discussion. 